explain how the DBHL works, okay? So I'm going to mark up a foot and show you how it's used on the foot, but I want to explain to you what we have here, okay? So this part of the DBHL, uh, we call the heel plane, because it attaches to our standard farrier's rasp uh, and allows us to position it over the top of the access of the horse's foot. All right, and that allows us, because of what we call a parallax through this lens, uh, we're able to position it so that it's parallel to the plane that's represented, that we're representing for the internal foot, okay? So we have two very long lines. We have our sagittal line and we have our transverse line. And then we have the double lines. When these lines are positioned directly in the middle of those double lines, it means that we are parallel with our vision through the lens. If we come off that plane, these lines will move in between the double lines. It's like working through the scope of a, of a, a, of a gun. If you're shooting through a scope and you're lining up your crosshairs with the crosshairs on the target, you know that your lens of your scope is parallel to that target. Well, it's the same thing we do on a horse's foot. We're actually going to put the crosshairs on our horse's foot with the center being at the axis. So by placing the crosshairs on those crosshairs, we know that this plane will be parallel to our internal live sole plane, or what we call the access plane. This allows us <clears throat> to determine if the heels are on balance to that internal foot. So that's the first step, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, uh, this does have metric, uh, has uh, millimeters here, so that you can record for health changes in health, changes in conformation. You can take measurements uh, on this on the DBHL as well. So we have on the toe plane. Uh, this is the toe plane. Now the toe plane will be inserted once we've gotten to that point of the trim to where we want to balance the toe to the heel. Because in this method that I use in the DBHL is that we actually have three planes of reference. We have the access plane, which is a representation of what that foot, internal foot, would sit on if we remove the hoof capsule. So by balancing that hoof to that plane, we are essentially balancing the hoof to the foot. Okay? So <clears throat> we start by balancing that heel plane. And then when I get to the toe plane, as I balance it, we're gonna have all these planes on the same uh, uh, parallel to one another and at the same height. So these are rare earth magnets, and the, this is not a hinge in the toe, okay? So if we are on plane and we simply come down off of the DBHL, it will be pulled in on the same plane that our heel if our toe is in the correct plane. If our plane is too distal, well, obviously it's not gonna get pulled in, okay? It tells us that we have to lower our toe or we have to uh, trim our toe so it's more proximal to the, uh, you know, to the heel plane. So that we, you know, are on the same plane because when these are all on the same plane, we have our access plane and we have our heel plane and our toe plane. So essentially we have a balanced hoof on the distal to proximal plane, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mark up uh, you know, the, the footprint on this hoof because when it comes to medial lateral balance, which is on each side of my sagittal plane, or sagittal line, and dorsal to palmar balance, which is the, the proportions front to back, we have to be able to identify the footprint of the internal foot. The DBHL does one thing. It establishes distal to proximal balance on two planes the medial lateral plane and the dorsal palmar plane, okay? So I'm gonna get under uh, on a hoof here and show you how we set this up because we have to cover the heels and align the DBHL for whatever foot we're working on. So this will work from a pony. We can slide it back that far. So approximately a, a double lot uh, we can work on up to a sizable draft horse. Okay, probably size three or even larger. Okay, I know some people that are using it on some Belgiums. All right, so it is uh, adjustable for, for very small feet to very large feet, okay? And that's about, you know, wraps up what I need to talk about on a DBHL. You know, you need to protect it.
okay? It's obviously it's a, uh, you know, it's a polycarbonate, but we just don't want it to get all scratched. So treat it like it is. <laughs> it's a tool and it's an instrument, okay? So it will help you to develop an eye for balance.
Okay, so that wraps it up. Uh, that's how we use the DBHL. Uh, you have had any questions at all, you can contact us via our website, proflevel.com, which is what you're probably on right now, or you can go to applied.blindpodiatry.org, where it was developed. We've been working on this for probably the last 15 years. Okay? So it is, uh, comes in a nice hard case, has directions, everything we need. I feel a horse on my neck. Do I? Okay, all right. So that's it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. All right, thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you.